Very good morning students. Welcome back to Chaitanya online classes. Changing the way of learning. Okay, every section will be start with that uh, revision now. Today also, I will take revision one minute for a one minute. Okay, what we studied yesterday? We studied that the force of the current carrying conductor and also we studied Fleming's lamp hand rule. What that Fleming's lamp hand rule tells you? It is not a law at that Fleming's Fleming's left hand, it is a rule only. Okay. So what it tells? So keep your three fingers, thumb, index finger, and middle finger. Right, that perpendicular to each other. That thumb will give you a direction of force. This index finger gives you a direction of magnetic field, and this middle finger gives you a direction of current. Okay, why do we use this Fleming's left hand rule? To find the force. To find the direction of force, we use that rule that we call it as a Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, today we are going to be study is electric motor. We all know that some electric appliances like that of fans we have in our home, no? mixer, washing machine, refrigerator. It's all electric appliances. How do they work? What it has inside? This all electric appliances has the electric motor. So due to that only, this all electric appliances can work. Means, how does it work, electric motor? How it should be constructed? On what principle it could be work? Today, let's we are going to be study is what electric motor. So what is the principle? It is principle. Yesterday only we studied no? the force on current carrying conductor. On that base the electric motor can work. So you may have get a question in MCQ in examinations. So multiple choice question. Uh, you may have that what questions like a on uh, what is the principle of that electric motor can work okay so if they will ask you like that if they may give you that options like a Fleming's left hand rule force on a current carrying conductor and, uh, and that uh, S phase rule and a N phase rule like that so you should answer it what force on current carrying conductor not of Fleming's left hand rule. Yesterday I, I told while teaching you that force of current carrying conductor, I gave that law, that of rule. But it is not a principle, it is not a law. Fleming's left hand, it is a rule. Okay? So principle means on which principle, on what principle can that of of electric motor can work means it is nothing but force on current carrying conductor. So to find the direction of force we will use the Fleming's left hand rule. If you write like this you could be getting two marks. Okay. So what is that? The principle of that electric motor is force on current carrying conductor that is, if you want to find the direction of force, we will use that Fleming's left hand rule. Okay? So, we learned right now principle. Principle is over. Now, what is? We have the construction. So, better you should take a paper and pencil. Okay? Here, what we have? Initially, it is what? Rectangle, two rectangles I have drawn here. These are nothing but I will tell you later. So, one more rectangle. So, this side could be extended like this. These sides are get attached to this splitting ring. So, I will tell you what is the function of splitting ring later and next two more small rectangles these are attached to a splitting ring split ring split ring next these two we call it as brushes this can be connected to a battery okay and this is our 
construction. Now, what is the step? If you draw like this, you will not get any marks. What is it? You need to label the diagram. This is N and S for me. These two are what? Magnet. Magnet. This we call it as a amateur. Amateur. This we call it as a split ring. Split ring. Okay. This we call it as a brushes. Brushes. Those brushes are made up of carbon. Okay. This is B1. This is B2. This is C1. This is C2. Split ring. Okay. Next it is battery. This amateur and this split ring are internal. That magnet also internal parts. These are. And this circuit of that wire and next it is what car, uh, here battery. This we call it as an external circuit and this brushes are joined the internal circuits and that what external circuits. Okay. This north pole, south pole. This is our picture. So this is A, B, C, B. This is what our construction. Construction is over. I will tell you later what is that as splitting. Splitting ring is nothing but it is what a closed ring. If you divide this ring, so we will get the two equal holes. So if we split this ring, we will get that two equal holes. So that we call it as split ring. So next, this is construction. This construction is so one. Okay, when current it starts flowing through the circuit, this is the direction of current. So it is entered to that brushes and C1 and it enters again that AB, side arm AB and BC. Next it enters that arm CD and next it comes to that C2 and it is what? B2. Next, in this way, it reaches the negative terminal of the battery. Okay? This construction is over. If you write the principal and construction, you will get the 2 to 3 marks. Okay? If it is a 5 or 5 marks question means, so this may, uh, this may have, it may have that what? 2 marks question. Okay? Next, when current is starts flowing through the circuit, it which is here. Okay? So, the direction of magnetic field lines is always from north to south. Okay? See, listen carefully. Magnetic field lines, the direction of magnetic field lines is from north to south. And current direction is what? It is in this way. So, this is vertical V. That Vertical view of the electric motor. So we cannot be kept that, uh, we, we will not keep that uh, electric motors in vertical view. Always keep that electric motors in horizontal, you know. Okay. So stress and physics is nothing but it is just clear visualization. Okay. So take this electric motor, keep into what? In your mind, it is in horizontal. Okay. If it is in horizontal means, so, that direction of magnetic field is what? In this direction. And current starts flowing is what? In this direction. Here, it is like this. But, take, it just keep even water horizontally. Okay? So, we are having a mixture here. Okay? When the electric current starts flowing, the direction of current is in this way. And the magnetic field lines is what? In this way. Okay. Can you please tell me the direction of force? Yes. For that, you should apply the Fleming's left hand rule. Okay. So, this will give you force, not direction of force. This will give 
gives you the direction of magnetic field. This will gives you direction of S for current. Okay. This is the direction of current means. This is magnetic field. This will gives you the direction of magnetic field. When we keep our electric motor in this way. This is what direction of magnetic field. And this gives you a direction of current. And what is the direction of force right now? These three are mutually perpendicular to each other. So, this is the direction of current. And this is the direction of magnetic field. And the direction of force is what? It is downward. Okay? So, when current starts flowing from what? Battery to water V1, V1 to C1, C1 to R, A, B. Okay, next one, RAB to BC and BC to CD, CD to what here, C2 and B2 and next again it will reach the back. This is the direction. Okay, and AB, this is direction of force is downward. When that current starts flowing in this direction, here it is like this. And now at RCD, the direction of current is like this. Okay, imagine stress. So when we keep our motor like this, that current starts flowing in that CD arm is like this. Okay, so always that magnetic field lines, the direction of magnetic field lines is in this way only. Because they are originating from North Pole and terminating at South Pole, we know. So right now, what is the direction of force? So again here also, you should apply that Fleming's left hand rule. This is direction of current. Our current starts flowing in this direction. Then this will give you direction of magnetic field. And what is the direction of force right now? It is upward. Okay? That force here, it is the force direction here. It is downward. Downward and here what happens? The current starts flowing right now. It is what? Upward. What happens here? This is our machine. This is ABR, this is CDR. So the force, the direction of force for this arm is where it is downward. And this is upward. Means our turn is, it covers that half turn. Our armature covers like this. It came like this. So to, to make one complete circle, so what it has to do? It has to came again like this. Means it needs to rotate. It needs to make a 360 degree angle. Okay, right now it makes it a 180 degree angle. This, when that force is downward, this will come here and this arm came here. To make one rotate, to make a 360 degree, it needs to cover 180 degree angle. Okay, so our arm right now came here. Means here, initially AB is here, CD is here. When that force is downward, it came here and it came here. Means here right now our arm is CD. Here it is AB. Okay. Right now. It just changed. This is. This is CD. This is AB. Okay. Now. Again. Here also get changed. Here it is C2. Here it is C1. Because. If it rotates like this now, that C1 keeps here, C2 goes there. Understood? Okay, right now, the current starts flowing. This B1 and B2 are not rotating. Those are stationary. Those connect the internal circuit and external circuit. Those are stationary. This armature and this what splitterings can rotate. So, when the current starts flowing, it get rotate like this. So, it means it came here. Okay. Now, the currents are flowing in this direction. The direction means, what is this function of splintering right now here? What it did 
direction of current. Initially, that direction of current is from V1 to C1 to AB. Right now, it get interchange means that the direction of current is from B1 to C2, CD to it is CD, DC and DC to CA, CA to it is AB, next AB to here it is C1, next it is B2, it is back. And students, so students, what is the function of splittering right now? Yes, what is the function? This splitting ring, split ring can provide that what reverse the direction of current. The split ring can reverse the direction of current. What is the function of split ring? In this electric motor, split rings are reverse the direction of current. Okay, that's what we use that split ring. Okay, right now here, see, the current starts flowing. Here right now, again imagine, our motor is like this. The current starts flowing in CD in this way and magnetic field lines are in this way. Again, you should apply. This is the direction of current. This is the direction of what? Magnetic field. And this will give you direction of force. Means it is downward. Again, so initially that CD moves upward. Right now, what happened? It will move downwards. Means it will give you one complete rotation. Yes or no? Understood? Initially, it is like this. When CD moves upward, it came here. Right now, that current starts flowing. If you apply that Fleming's left hand rule, it will give you a direction of force. Means, right now, that CD will move downward. And here, in this, that in ABR, the direction of current is like this. So, means, it is like this. Means direction of force in that AB is what? Upward. So initially that AB is moving downward. Right now it is here. So due to this, the change in the direction of current. So that AB moves upward and CD moves downward. Means it completes one rotation. Got it? This, con this rotation is continuous like this one. So, in that motor, that armature is continuously rotating in this way. And because of that motion, our electric appliances can work. Got it, students? Okay. What is there? Initially, that EV here, CD there. When the current starts flowing, so this will give you a direction of current and the magnetic field lines are moving in this direction. The direction of force is what? Downward. And when that current applies, uh, that passing through that CDR, so the direction of current is what? Upward. So, the split ring can reverse the current. It, it will reverse the current. So, that time, that CDR can keep here. The direction of current right now from B1 to C2 to CD. Here that the direction of force is downward. Here it is upward. So this will make you that one complete rotation. So it goes here and came here. Again it goes here and came here. So like this, this rotation is continuous. They will make you a 360 degree angle. Okay. So next. Aluminium, uh, steel. Why don't we use 
This carbon is compared to those, it is a bad conductor of electricity, means it has high melting point. Due to that reason, we use the carbon ratios here. So, why it need to be used at high melting point? Means that during rotation of that armature, these brushes are stationary. So, this printings and this armature can be rotated and this speed, that rotation of armature is too high, no? that the speed of that uh, armature is too high. Means, it is not as low. Okay? So, they are continuously hitting that what? That stationary brushes, that splinterings are continuously hitting that brushes. Due to that friction, there will be a generation of that heat. Heat will be generated. Heat will be generated means we need to be maintained that what? That electric appliances to save. That's why we use that high melting point like a carbon. Okay? They may ask you to give a reason why do we use that carbon brush, that brush is made up of carbon. Why do we use the carbon only? Because what is the reason? Carbon has a high melting point. That's why we use that carbon only. Due to, during that rotation, Due to friction, so heat is generated. So that's why we use that word high melting point like carbon metal. Okay, this is what working of that electric motor. Understood students? What is the principle? A force on a current carrying conductor that is to find that direction of force, we will use that Fleming's left hand rule. If we write like this, we, you will get that. After that, if it is a 2 marks place, you will get that out of out marks for this portion. And in construction, you should draw and you should label. This magnet, this is armature, these are uh, split trees and these are uh, brushes, carbon brushes. This is a battery. Okay, like this. Okay, and you should explain what is that working. So, initial battery current starts flowing. So, initially that uh, the direction of uh, that uh, what we are using uh, that uh, it will resist that area using a Fleming's uh, left hand rule. The direction of force is downward and next uh, using that again it will pass through that CD arm. So, the direction of force in that CD is what upward. Next, that split trees can reverse the direction of current. That time, that current can flow through that CD arm. In that time, that force, the direction of force is downward. Here it is upward. So, this process is continuous like this. So, that on this principle, that more electric motor can work. And in that, you should also write that as function of split rings and that brushes also. That brushes, it will connect that external and internal circuits. Okay, this is all about the electric motor. So, in the next class, we will discuss that electric generator. So, students, draw the diagram, make a short note and read. Until you should read. Okay. I believe all of you understood. Thank you student. Thank you. I will meet you in the next section. Thank you student. Take care.